Привет, друзья! Как дела? I hope you are doing great. And welcome to the new lesson. Today we're going to talk about word order and questions in Russian. And by word order, I mean how to make sentences in Russian. So, here we go. I'm sure some of you have already heard that uh, word order in Russian is flexible, meaning that you can take any word, put it anywhere in the sentence, and the meaning will stay the same. On the one hand, yes, that's right, you can put words in different positions, but I want you to remember that it's not random. It is not random. It depends on the context, um, on emotions that are involved in the process. So it's not random. And I will uh, explain you what to do with this. First, let's take some example in English. She is a teacher, for example. Who might that be? A teacher. Okay, she's a teacher. You can't just randomly switch places, positions, not here. Uh, the sentence wouldn't make any sense or you will sound like Yoda. Uh, a teacher, she is... Uh, it doesn't sound natural, okay? So, what about Russian? In Russian, you can do this. You can change the positions of words. So, let's take a um, sentence. Моя профессия. Профессия. I hope you are writing with me. Моя профессия. Don't forget about double S here. Guess what? My profession. Right. Моя профессия у учитель. Учитель. A teacher. Учитель. Моя профессия учитель. Моя профессия учитель. Right? So, here I'm going to explain you how it depends on the context and emotions. Yes, first we can say like this. Моя профессия учитель. Uh, I can say it in some general situation. For example, I'm introducing myself officially. I'm Daria, my profession is a teacher. Я Daria, моя профессия учитель. Right? But, for example, when I'm uh, being asked 100 times, what's your profession? Maybe somebody doesn't understand and asking me, what's your profession? I, I'm sorry, is it an engineer? Is it a cosmonaut? Are you a president? And I'm getting angry and I'm saying Учитель, моя профессия. You see, I'm getting angry, so I'm emphasizing that it's a teacher. Учитель, моя профессия. Or uh, something like uh, once upon a time situation, uh, you're telling some story, uh, you, you may start, учитель, профессия моя, and blah, 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 telling a story. So, yes, you change those uh, places of the words. Let's write it down. Учитель, профессия моя, профессия моя, учитель, профессия моя, or Mm, what, 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 what? Uh, учитель, моя профессия, right? So, you see, it's not random. I can't be in, uh, angry. Well, I can, but all those small details, kind of intonations, little contexts, that's why I don't recommend you dealing with this stuff at all. Now you may wonder why on earth have you been speaking about it for five minutes if we don't need that. Because unfortunately many people get confused with this idea of flexibility. It is flexible, it's not random. It's for native speakers. So don't play with this, don't mix those uh, words. 
So let's um, let me explain a little bit more about the word order. Just like in most other languages, in Russian we have the standard basic word order too. This is subject, verb, object. Object. Subject does something to the, to the object. In general, of course, there are different variations. Uh, for example, я читаю. I hope you remember this verb. Читать. To read. Читаю книгу. 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 A book. I'm reading a book. Don't ask me about this ending U now. Now. I'm sounding... Uh, making my Russian accent now. No. 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 So, it's all about cases. We will speak about cases because... Uh, don't worry. Cases will be after you. Don't worry. They are coming. Just like winter. Cases are always coming when you deal with Russian, with learning Russian. So, now don't, don't look at the ending. Just remember that subject я, yeah, a verb читаю, and uh, an object книгу. Я читаю книгу. I'm reading what? I'm reading a book. So, this basic word order, basic and most typical for the most languages. So, if you are a beginner and even intermediate learner, stick with this. Don't try to, uh, to play with the word position and don't try to do it. It's uh, advanced. It's for native speakers, okay? So, it's much easier to stick with this subject, verb, object, order. I hope you will remember this. Of course, you will certainly meet different word order in reading, in listening, so you will have to deal with it anyway. So, a quick tip for you. New information. New information. Something you don't know yet usually goes to the ending, to the end of the sentence. Let me explain in a very short sentence. Я учитель. I'm a teacher. You see, remember that in Russian we don't have the verb to be here. Я учитель. No, it's just I teacher. You robot, I teacher, right? So, я Учитель. Right? So here the new information is учитель. Probably this is the answer to the question Who are you? What do you do? What's your profession? So I am a teacher. Я учитель. So it was the question Кто ты? Right? Who are you? Кто ты? A little dialogue. Who are you? I'm a teacher. Кто ты? Я учитель. Я спортсмен. Я... Кто? Математик. Я актриса. Я преподаватель. Я машинист, водитель. Anybody. So just replace it with anything and yeah, just practice with professions. So, who are you? I'm a teacher. The new information is this. But if we say учитель, я, учитель, я, this is this Yoda situation. A teacher is me, right? Mm. When can this happen? So, you see, new information is here, here, yeah, 
It's in the end. So this probably answers the question, who is a teacher? Who is a teacher? Кто учитель? There is a crowd and who is a teacher? Кто учитель? Actually, oh my goodness, this happened a lot to me. Uh, this happened a lot when I was teaching Russian history uh, at the university and I was like five years older than all of my students and sometimes uh, during the break somebody would uh, come into the room and I was somewhere in the end of the room and they would say, oh, who's the professor? Where's the professor? And there I was. Um, shorter than everyone else and uh, wearing my sneakers and uh, yeah, uh, I was up here, учитель я, профессор я, so it's kind of a real life situation, happened all the time, yeah, nobody believed me, I looked like a student, so, кто учитель, учитель я, so remember this quick tip, it will help you in reading, when you need to understand what's the main point, the main meaning of the sentence, you will start feeling that difference, that intonation of uh, the sentence. Я учитель or учитель я. It can be anywhere. Remember, new information usually is in the last part of the sentence. Now let's get to questions in Russian. There are several types of questions and uh, one of them is uh, so-called yes-no kind of questions. The worst type for interviews but the best type for learning. Uh, you will ask why is it the best? Because it's super simple and everything you need to do is to use your intonation intonation uh, so uh, it doesn't work in English again let's take another example for example I am let's say a human all of a sudden I am a human I am a human right so to ask um, Am I a human? You put this verb at the first position and this is how you turn it to the question. Oh, human. Okay. Ah, I hope you understand. I am a human. Am I a human? Right? In Russian, it's easier on the one hand. So let's write it down. Ja. Человек. Oh, I think I don't need it here. <laughs> Я человек. Человек. Actually, I think we should... Uh, I hope you got it. Now I'm gonna move here on the left because I remember that terrible blind spot uh, of the window. I can't, you you ask me all the time, why don't you get rid of this light here? Because I can't, it will be all dark and you won't be able to see anything and um, oh my goodness. Okay, so я человек. I am human being. Человек. Actually, I think it's a new word for us right? Человек. So again, I'm going to be annoying and uh, remind you about vowel reduction. Here, ye, the last ye is stressed. So only this vowel is pronounced clear. Человек. Человек. What happens with these two? First one sounds more like чи, чи, человек. Человек, la 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 la. It's not человек. Человек, la 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 la, like la la land. Человек, человек. Я человек. I'm a human, right? Я человек. Why I even started this? Oh, 
It's about questions. So in Russian, you don't need to put anything uh, before я. Yeah. You just use your intonation. You ask, я человек? You hear that? Я человек. Я человек? So it's question. And in reading, in writing, you will only show it with a question mark. You see? It's super simple. You turn that dot to question mark, it becomes a question. Я uh, человек? But here, what's interesting, the difficult part of it, there is always a difficult part. Nothing simple in Russian. Um, the intonation is different. It's not like in English. In English, usually there is a question, uh, there is some sentence, sentence going, and in the end, you go up, and that's the question. Do, 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 do. That's the question. In Russian, no. In this example, yes. So this will sound like English intonation. Я человек. Like, do, 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 do. Repeat after me. Я человек. 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 Okay. But in other words, for example, let's say она женщина. She is a woman. Она, она женщина. 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 Mm -hmm. Она женщина. She is a woman. If you don't know this word, write it down now. Она женщина. How do we turn it to a question? Yes, we put the question mark here. And it sounds... Она женщина. Она женщина. Do you see that we don't say... Она женщина? No. Like we would do in English. No. In Russian, the stressed vowel goes up. Like, up to that stress and mark, up. Она женщина. Она женщина. Она женщина. Repeat after me. You, you really need to feel this because, unfortunately, so many people, they pronounce words correctly, but they bring their own language intonation into the Russian language, so they don't sound natural. And since the intonation here is the only way to show that it's a question, you really need to, ma to master it. So, она женщина. Она женщина. Let's try with another example. Uh, he is a man. Он мужчина. Он мужчина. If you missed мужчина. Uh, if you missed the la uh, some of the previous lessons, I explained the pronunciation of this word. Мужчина. It's like ш. Мужчина. He is a man. So write down женщина, woman, man, мужчина. You, you don't say он мужчина. Он мужчина, like in English. No, no, no. Here, look at the stressed vowel. Ooh. Он мужчина. Он мужчина. Right? Он мужчина. And that's the question. Is he a man? Sometimes, yeah, we can have our doubts if uh, it's a man or a woman. Он мужчина. Да, он мужчина. Or нет. Это женщина. That's a woman. Она женщина. Um, what, what else? Uh, они... Они... Wait a second. Let's say они... Друзья. Friends. Они друзья. I hope you remember that it is an exception. Exception uh, when it comes to plurals. Friends, друзья. Они друзья. Here it's easy because the last vowel is stressed. 
So how do we ask if they're fr their friends or not? Correct. Они друзья? Они друзья? Repeat after me. Они друзья? Mm -hmm. And actually you can say no, they are enemies. Uh, what's... And yeah, actually you should start learning vocabulary like this. Uh, you have some word, for example, друг, a friend. Uh, look for uh, the word with the opposite meaning. For example, an enemy, a foe, враг, and the plural is враги. Like, они друзья? Нет, они враги. Враги. And the other one enemy is враг. Враг. So, I hope you understood that you just turn the sentence uh, to a question uh, by adding the question mark and the right intonation. Let's look at more examples. Let's take an example with a girl. We had a woman. Let's say it's a girl. Девушка. 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 In Russian, there is a hierarchy uh, depending on age. The youngest one, the little girl, is девочка. 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 Again, pay attention to pronunciation. Девочка. А, а, а. Девочка. 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 The older one is Девушка, and be careful with this because it can also mean your girlfriend. For example, I want to find a girlfriend. Я хочу найти девушку. Right? So, girlfriend is девушка. And uh, the older lady is женщина, the grown-up, the adult woman is женщина. We already uh, have written it down. Okay, so это девушка. Turn it to a question now. Mm -hmm. Это девушка. Это девушка. Right, because the stress and go here. Okay, the next sentence about this girl. Uh, это девушка. Она работает. Она ра Бо да ет. I hope you remember verb. Verb. What's wrong with pronunciation? I hope you remember verbs. Работать. To work. She is working. Она работает. Now turn it to a question. Она работает. Again. Она работает. Again, you don't say она работает. No, we say она работает. That's the question. Is she working or is she making her nails at her workplace? Она работает. Да, она работает. Everything is fine. She is working. Don't worry. Она работает. Or maybe, what else? What else do we know? Она работает. Это ее компьютер. Let's say it like this. This is her computer. Это ее. Remember the possessive pronouns. I hope you remember. Это ее компьютер. Computer. Computer. Это ее компьютер. How do we change it to the question? Mm -hmm. Это ее компьютер. Here it's interesting that we want to emphasize usually different, different words. For example, let's add the question mark here. For example, uh, there are several uh, computers there and you want to understand which one of those 
uh, is hers. So you ask and emphasize the word her computer. Uh, это ее компьютер. Это ее компьютер, right? Это ее компьютер. And we say yes or no, it's hers, it's not hers. If there are, uh, there is a group of computers, five computers, and you take one of them and ask, is this her computer? Это ее компьютер. Это or это, maybe two computers. Это or это. Это или это. Her computer. Это ее компьютер. That's the question. Or if you want to understand if it's a computer or it's a purse uh, in a form of computer. I sound ridiculous. <laughs> But anyway, let's imagine she has some strange looking purse. So, это ее компьютер. Here, you emphasize this you because it's stressed. Компьютер. Это ее компьютер. Да, это ее компьютер. It's not a purse, it's her computer. Да, это ее компьютер. So, if it's a long sentence, you understand what you want to emphasize, what exactly you're trying to ask. And in this word, you emphasize that stressed vowel. I hope you uh, practiced with me a little bit and I want you to practice with all the materials you have from the previous lessons. And uh, before it gets really dark, I've already changed the lighting uh, a little bit. Before it gets dark, let's speak about another type of questions. The question with a special word. Just like in English, we have all those uh questions where who 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 what right why why we have them all in russian too so uh usually let's let's first write them down the first one is где 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 ты? For example, где ты? Где ты? Where are you? I hope there is no that window here, uh, but it's pretty simple. Where are you? Где ты? Uh, and uh, we can answer here. Let's learn this word. This word. Здесь. Здесь. Mm -hmm. Здесь. Here. For example, я здесь. Где ты? Я здесь. It can work with any other examples. We can't um, speak about cases yet, but a pretty simple way to expand your speaking is use just those simple sentences. For example, где он? He is here. Он здесь. Он здесь. If you want to say that he is over there somewhere, you can say там. 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 Far away. Там. Он здесь. Он там. Now you can practice with anything with any nouns that we learned. Где книга? Where is a book? Где мама? Мама здесь. Or она здесь. And we already know the possessive pronouns. So let's make several dialogues. Like um, I can say, uh, где моя книга? Where is my book? Где Моя книга. Книга. Uh, where is my book? Где моя книга? And you answer твоя книга там. Там. On the table of that girl who's making, uh, making doing nails. How do you say it? To manicure. 
That's what Russian girls like to do at work. Твоя книга там. Or where are my dragons? Где мои драконы? I don't know. Okay, so stupid Game of Thrones jokes. I can't believe it. Okay, so I hope you got the question where. That's all we need now, okay? Don't touch cases, for God's sake. Don't touch cases. So, where is где? Где? Uh, who, we already know, is кто? Кто это? Это Дарья. Это учитель. Uh, anything. So, practice, practice with any nouns. Okay, what? You already know it again. Что? Remember that we pronounce it as что. It's not что. It's что. Okay? Что. Что. Just remember. Что. Uh, again, что это? Это стиралка, губка, eraser. Now I know it in English, but don't know it in Russian. Uh, okay, что? And finally, why? Why is почему? Почему? Again, почему? It's not почему. Почему? You will sound, I don't know, Estonian, like something like yeah. Почему? 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 Or зачем? Зачем? There are two words. We will talk about them um, with more details. But почему is why, and зачем has the meaning of kind of what for. What have you done it for? Why did you do it? So, зачем, почему? Uh, don't dwell on that too much now. I just wanted you uh, to know that there are several types of questions. Because here it's just, today we have just general information. Word order, I hope you remember, it's um, flexible, but not random. Not random. So, stick with the basic structure. Uh, subject, verb, object, right? So, questions, yes and no questions, you just make with intonation and you stress, stress the stressed <laughs> vowel, so you emphasize the stressed vowel. Это учитель, okay? And uh, questions uh, with um, different special question uh, words. There we'll be talking when it comes to uh, cases. We will talk about all of them. That's it for today. You were complaining about lessons being too long, so I've decided to make it a little shorter. And uh, the homework. The homework is practice. Practice, practice and practice. Uh, check out the links below this video. I will put more examples, more words uh, to my website. There is a list of the lessons so you can go and practice there. And um, yeah, unfortunately I can't expand your vocabulary here every time because I need to explain you this stuff and you can google any nouns you want. So, any word in English and French in, in your language you need, if it's a noun, Google it. Google it. Check out the translators. You can expand your vocabulary with nouns now. And uh, yeah, I guess that's it for today. I hope you enjoyed the lesson. If you did, share with your uh, friends who try to learn Russian. And um, if you have any questions, leave them below this video. I'll be happy to answer. Thank you very much for watching. I'm tired of speaking. I hope to see you next time. Bye-bye.